to another video. I have so much time on my hands today, so I thought what better use of it than to show a what I eat in a day. So this video, I'll share everything I eat in a day. I am starting out with warm lemon water. It's slices of ginger, juice of half a lemon, a slice of a lemon just, you know, for the looks. And then I fill it up half with boiling water and then the rest of it with cold water. Usually when I drink this, I always feel better. So the lemon ginger water girlies are onto something. Then I also struggle with drinking enough water it's just not something that I have successfully incorporated in my daily routine so usually I have a headache at the end of the day and then I remember that it's because I didn't drink enough water so when I drink one of these I know that I have gotten well over than half a liter of water just in the morning and that's a really big step for me today I'm gonna show you some recipes that I love to make but before we get started with breakfast I really need to clean the kitchen and dining table area it is a mess so we're gonna do that first things first. And then I think it's also properly to get changed out of pajamas. Even though I love wearing pajamas as everyday attire, it's also nice to wear normal clothes sometimes. But yeah. I'm dressed and the kitchen is clean. So we're ready to make breakfast now. If you've been following me, you know I'm obsessed with a granola situation ball. I love Greek yogurt, I love granola and little berries or something fruity on top. But I needed a break and went the oatmeal way, but now I'm back. I have run out of granola, so I need to make another batch. The previous batch I made, I burned it a little bit too much, so it didn't taste that great. Maybe that was why I didn't kind of like granola balls, because the granola just didn't taste great. But we got through it and now let's make my favorite granola which is honey peanut butter granola. I always make granolas at home. I think it's much easier and then there's also the health and price aspect in it for me. It's much cheaper and I can also decide what I want to put in it. So it's a win-win situation for me and everyone else. So we're gonna make a fresh batch of peanut butter granola. Okay, we're a little bit too low on honey, so I will make a quick run to the supermarket to get some more honey. And then I saw I also don't have any raisins, and that's kind of non-negotiable for my granola. I need coconut flour, raisins, what are they called, rolled oats, every time. So we're gonna make a quick run to the grocery. <clears throat> so we're gonna make a quick run to the grocery to the supermarket. So we're gonna make a quick run to the supermarket to get those things, and then we're ready. <laughs> with more supplies. And now we're ready to make granola. Ugh. I also got some milk because we're running out and we can have that. So I have milk for my morning coffee and the needed supplies to make granola. It's super dark in my apartment, so we'll have to settle with the yellow light for the rest of the day, but that's winter time in Denmark. Okay, I usually just measure by heart, but since we're sharing a recipe, I think I'll need to weigh everything so I can share a more accurate recipe. And also for you, if you want to recreate it. And then also Jonas's mom has been asking me for a recipe and she 
really likes to include measurements, so we're also doing it for her. I always start out with oats. I like these. I think they're called rolled oats, but I like these oats because they give a bit of texture. This is kind of like the base of the granola. Oh no, did I use like a wrong unit? This is ounces, okay, but we're just gonna add everything in here and then I'll have to convert the ounces. <gasps> this is so classic me. OS2 gram convert. Okay. <sighs> Okay, I'll just, mm, what do I do? I'll just, I'll add it to another bowl and get the right measurements and then I'll re-add the oats. And this is 350 grams of oats. I like to add whole nuts. Um, it could be almonds, walnuts, pecans, whatever you like. This time I'm adding hazelnuts and I like to just keep them whole to just add a bit of more texture to the mixture. So 100 grams of oats. No, not oats. Oh my God. Hazelnuts. And then I'm also adding in flax seeds. And here I'll be adding 80 grams of flax seeds. And I mean, if you want more or less, you can do so. I usually just measure by heart, as I told you before. So if you don't like flax seeds or if you want less or more, you can just do that. And I think it won't really change the outcome of the recipe. Then we're gonna add coconut flour. I do have a little um, leftover from another bag, so we're gonna use that. But I really do like coconut flour, so this won't be enough for me. And I I think it just gives a really nice texture to the granola. It kind of gets more chewy. And this is 55 grams, but I'm gonna add some more. Yeah, and this is 100 grams of coconut flour. And this looks about right in terms of what I like in my granola. Then we'll go in with coconut flakes. I like these ones that are a bit roasted. It's definitely not a must to add this much coconut, but it's just what I really like in my granola. These are my favorites. And this is 50 grams of coconut flakes. I also like to just keep these whole and not chop them to create some texture in the granola so it's not just like all these small bits and pieces. And then we're gonna add some raisins. I really like to either have raisins or cranberries in my granola and I like to have a lot of them. Do I want more? Mm that out. This is 150 grams of raisins. Maybe I'll add more, maybe not. I'll try and mix it around. No. I think, I think I'll add a bit more. That's too much. Yeah, this is 250 grams of raisins and that is what we're gonna do today. I also had four lonely apricots left, so we're just gonna add them into the mixture and then I think I'm satisfied. Now we're gonna make the peanut butter and honey mixture and I use honey, peanut butter and salt and then also boiled water. So we're just gonna add in everything. I did have this small leftover from the other honey I had. We're gonna use that first and then we're gonna switch over to the other honey. And with the amount of honey, it really depends on how sweet you like it. I don't like mine as sweet. I'm not gonna go too crazy over the sweetness, but still I use honey as a form of like glue. It kinda glues everything together. So this might be three teaspoons. Just gonna add in. And for the peanut butter, I like to use fine, like um, smooth peanut butter. This one is so good. It tastes really roasted. Um, it's also quite dark than usual peanut butter I buy. So I think they roasted it a lot, which I really like. And I'm gonna go heavy in on the peanut butter. So I think I'll just add in the whole thing. And then I add a tiny bit of salt. This might be like half a teaspoon, um, just to balance out all the sweetness. Adding in the water. I add in warm water to kind of help ingredients mix together more well. Um, melt the honey and make the peanut butter more liquid. But if you add more honey, you can kind of leave out the water because I just use water to make the mixture more wet, make it clean together. But it's definitely not necessary. But as I told you, I don't like it too sweet. So it's kind of my way of making the mixture more wet and combining it. It doesn't really look that appetizing right now, but trust me, it will taste so yummy. And now it's really just about <laughs> mixing well and well and well, and it takes the time it takes. And if you feel like it's not mixing together, you can add in some more water. I sometimes also do that, but the mixture shouldn't be too wet. It only needs to be kind of like, um, is it called moist? So the water can kind of dry out in the oven. I'm actually, I'm really satisfied. This is perfect. 
I'm gonna do a little taste test maybe. No. While the granola is cooking, I'm gonna make a jam. It's the easiest jam ever. This time it'll be a leftover jam because I have some leftover blueberries in the fridge. It's not that they've gone bad, I just don't like soft blueberries. So we're gonna make jam out of them. I usually do it with frozen raspberries, but this time we'll do blueberries since I have them in my fridge and I don't like to throw out food. And it's essentially only the fruit. So this time blueberries, water and honey, and then on low heat on the stove and then there's jam. <laughs> Granola is looking nice and toasted. It's dry and just a little bit tanned, so now it's ready to eat. I'm just waiting for the jam to finish, and then we'll assemble the granola bowl. Mmm, mm. yes, perfect. It's sweet, it's a little bit salty from the peanut butter, and then with the blueberry jam, it makes it mm, so fresh. Yeah. So this is my ideal breakfast. I love yogurt balls. The good thing about this recipe is that you can make such a huge batch. If it's dry enough, it will just keep fresh for a long time. Once I tried where I didn't give it enough, so it was, it was still a bit moist, and then it just was completely rotten after a few days. But with this, if it's dry enough, it will keep fresh for a long time. Ah, oh, can't fit in there. Oh yeah. There we go. And I love making large batches at once because then I have easy and delicious breakfast every day. Unless Jonas, he uh, decides to eat half of it. Beautiful. Look at that. And then with the jam, I just scoop it down in one of these glass containers. I just spent a few hours working, getting back to emails, posted on an the way, stuff like that. And now I'm hungry and we're making lunch. I went to a meeting the other day at a cafe called Studio X Kitchen. And while it wasn't a lunch meeting, I saw that they make folded eggs with anchovies, and I think homemade focaccia, was it salad or pickles? But they make folded eggs with anchovies. And for some reason, I have been thinking about that dish every day since. So we're making folded eggs with anchovies inspired dish for lunch. The key for me to make really good eggs is to get the pan really hot but not too hot. And then I love cooking eggs in butter, non-negotiable. It just makes the eggs taste so much better. I wait until the pan is hot enough and then I add the butter. And then when that's melted, I add in the eggs. And then to make the folded eggs, you kind of just have to like scoop, not scoop, but like push the eggs around. And then when I've gotten the desired form of the eggs, I don't know how else to <laughs> explain it. I put on a lid and then a tiny bit of water actually to just kind of create some steam that will make sure the egg cooks through thoroughly. Quando <laughs> 
piano já não quer mais tocar e as teclas pretas não saem do lugar quando cor no inglês ter que ir pro xadrez porque não tem mais onde ficar bomb so excited to try this. I'm gonna make a perfect bite again with a little bit of anchovy. I also added some smoked chili paste because I really like that with everything I eat. And then maybe add that into a little salad. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. It tastes so good. This combination is so bomb. Wow, it tastes so good. I'm very so so about anchovies. Sometimes I really like it, and sometimes I'm like, oh no, thank you. But this is so good, especially with with smoked chili. And then I also added just a little tiny bit of lemon juice, and it's so good. Like if you like anchovies, you should really try adding it to your eggs because it's such a good combination. Mmm, -hmm. yes. Getting ready to make dinner right now, and the drink of choice is this coffee soda from this brand called Mo. They sent me a bunch of these coffee sodas to try out, and I actually really like them. They contain cold brew, ginger, maca powder, lemon. I think it's maca powder. They just write maca. Uh, lemon, yosu aroma, and pear. And they're honestly super yummy. I was a bit skeptical. <laughs> I find myself craving them sometimes. So. Um, we're having a coffee soda while making dinner. We'll be having a whole roasted chicken in the oven with roasted parsnips, I think it's parsnips or turnips, some root vegetable and potatoes. That's basically it. I think it's so nice to just pop everything together on a baking sheet and then in the oven for an hour and then dinner's ready. So very little preparation time, but super flavorful and delicious. Quando o trombone não quiser e os dedos da harpa não vão dedilhar Quando todo mundo cantar a capela Porque a orquestra vai parar The chicken and the vegetable is in the oven and while that is cooking I'm gonna make a little dip because Jonas he loves a dippy situation. I'm gonna make a smoked chili dill and lemon dip and I'm adding in also some spices such as cumin. You don't actually need that much of this chili paste but I think it's so delicious and it gives a little bit more depth to the dip and we don't want to have too heft of garlic breath so I'm just adding in tiny cutesy garlic since we're gonna kiss each other it doesn't really matter if we do have garlic breath Jonas do you want to do a dippy test
having dinner right now and it tastes really nice but I'm out of storage so it will need to be quick but it's yummy and Jonas is happy and he likes to dip and I'll see you guys. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was fun to make. Um, me and Jonas were just gonna spend the rest of the night having tea and digestive biscuits in bed. And yeah, so make sure to like, comment or subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!